Hi everyone, welcome to our uh, Marine Knowledge Channel. This is your Sailor Basha. So again, this video is also a continuation of uh, my last video. Like last video, we saw the Daihatsu uh, uh, decap, same uh, piston. How to remove the piston uh, flame ring? So this video, I'll show you some information how to remove the nut of uh, piston. So it's a hydraulic nut. So how to open a hydraulic nut? All this thing I will try to show in this video. Don't uh, skip uh, any of this uh, part so that uh, you don't miss any important information that I give you during the video session. So let's go inside the video. So this is your hydraulic jack and this is your uh, jack stand. So for the hydraulic jack you have to uh, check for the threads and for jack just ensure the hole is facing towards you so that easy to open or close okay now uh, take the piston to TDC so that uh, it will be easy for you to fix the hydraulic uh, jack so these are the two nuts uh, that we need to open totally four nuts uh, two on the port and two on the starboard side so now uh, for this uh, piston nut opening we have to open uh, in two by two like you can only open two nut at a time so always uh, go for the cross one so I go for uh, the cross one now I am fitting the tool first fit the stand and then you fix the jack jack uh, ensure it is fitted uh, tightly be careful when you are using the jack inside the crankcase because there are uh, chances for uh, jack to slip if you don't uh, hold the jack properly so I align the stand towards uh, stand hole facing towards me so that uh, it will be easy for me to uh, handle the Tommy bar for opening or closing the nut. So once the hydraulic jack is in place then you fix the hose. As I said, uh, the hose should be tested like it has to be uh, visually inspected before using because it handles a very high temperature, sorry, a very high pressure. So now uh, jack in place, hose in place. Now I have to do the same for the other side also. So once you fix both the jack uh, in the place, so what we need to do is uh, you have to tighten the jack firmly like uh, you have to tighten fully so that uh, there won't be any oil inside inside the jack so once it tightened for opening you have to open one full turn one full turn you have to open so now uh, i can start using the hydraulic jack so close the return line first hydraulic pump close the return line and air pressure is there both uh, air side and uh, hydraulic outlet are uh, opened now I can uh, start the pump okay so you can see I started the pump the pressure is increasing I have to bring the pressure to almost uh, 860 bar so once this pressure is reached you can check the hydraulic nut for opening whether uh, it is already loosened or not so you can see the pressure is gradually increasing in uh, hydraulic pump that means uh, your hydraulic hoses now is holding 860 bar that's the reason I say always before using uh, hydraulic uh, 
hoses ensure it is inspected free of any kind of damages so that uh, you don't you can avoid injuries so now i reached the pressure now i am trying to open it yes you can see eh? you can see the nut is already opened one so i open uh, turn turns eh? on both the side so both the side has been opened so it's open now i can release the pressure now i stop the pump and uh, i'm going to release the pressure from the hydraulic pump that means uh, the nut is already open so just close the stop pumping and open the return line so that the pressure will drop on all the line in the pressure will come back to the pump in the meantime when you are dropping the pressure you just check whether uh, the nut is still in loose or not once that is done you can remove the hose open the jack and fit the jack on the other two side other two nut so now i am opening and i will fix on the other side So the nut is uh, already fixed in place on the other side, both the uh, hose everything is in place tightened and opened one complete turn. So once uh, that is done now again the same process. Use the hydraulic uh, jack as I said earlier. Again, I will explain you one more time how to use the hydraulic pump for opening the nut. So, always uh, once the connection is done, you check for the air pressure, close the return valve firmly, it should be tight. Then, operate the pump. Operate the pump so that you can see the pressure increasing while the pump is pumping. You can see yeah, as I said earlier we need to have that 860 bar so for opening pressure always refer to the manual so this uh, for this engine it is uh, 860 bar but for every engine it differs so don't follow the opening pressure according to this video you just follow the makers advice so now uh, the pressure reached now I am trying to open the nut the nut is already opened yes okay so the nut is opened on both the side yes just open turn turns <coughs> okay that's all now we are uh, done with opening the means loosening the nut of piston pump bolt so once that is done all you need to do is slowly release the pressure while releasing the pressure just check parallelly both the nuts are still in loosened condition you can just have to see just shake and see the nut it should be always open till the time the pressure is dropping to zero now i checked it is okay So once this is done, remove the hydraulic uh, hose, open the hydraulic jack, remove the stand and you can uh, 
and you can uh, open the nut so that's all this is this is the this is how you need to uh, open palm nut of uh, piston using hydraulic jack okay Okay, I'm removing the hydraulic jack. Again, I say whenever you are uh, handling any hydraulic jack inside the crankcase, be very careful because uh, these hydraulic jacks are uh, heavy and uh, you have to handle it properly. It should not drop down or it should not fill over some, uh, some part should not get damaged. So that's all. Hydraulic jack is out and uh, stand is out so now i can loosen the nut so open the nut and uh, ensure when you are opening the nut and keep it uh, safely and ensure you are marking the nut so that uh, when you put back the nut in place you don't uh, misplace the nut here and there so that should not be a issue while uh, fixing back so always uh, use a marker paint marker or something and uh, fix it right on top of the nut so that it will be easy for you to fix back when you are uh, assembling back the system okay So this is how you need to uh, use a hydraulic jack to open the palm nut of uh, piston uh, but in some smaller engines there won't be a hydraulic uh, nut there won't there will be usually a normal nut that you can tighten it using a torque but in this kind since it's a big generator it got a hydraulic nut and uh, this generator has a capacity to produce 2400 kilowatt that means it's a huge generator its bore is around 3000 uh, 320 so all this reason for what uh, you have uh, a hydraulic nut on bottom of the pump so okay that's all we removed the nut Okay, nuts are removed and as I said earlier both the nuts should have a marking just put a mark from where you open from which side you open aft forward aft uh, starboard whatever so that uh, you don't get confused okay so we are done okay so now we are ready to lift the piston up okay so after uh, watching this video you must have got uh, some idea about how to open a piston palm nut using a hydraulic jack so if you have any doubt please put in comment box definitely i will reply you or else you can uh, post your comments 
in uh, in my whatsapp number i can reply you sometimes i don't get uh, internet when i am on board so that uh, i may delay in replying you in uh, my comment box but still you put in comment box and uh, please uh, as i always say share subscribe our channel with your groups friends and everyone so that uh, our channel will grow and our uh, whatever knowledge we are sharing will be shared to everyone thanks for watching keep supporting